Hello everyone, this is GPH Hawkins, and I just want to bring up a few things that have come to my mind recently. For starters, I want to talk about uh, taxes, uh, for one thing. To the people who think that raising taxes for the rich and lowering for them for the middle class is good, great, I agree with you. We should cut we should cut taxes on the middle and lower and raise them for the upper class, for the rich people, the people who already have shit, the people who buy shit, and that's it. People who don't spend any money, who buy a yacht or two, and that's it. They don't spend money. People who we need to be taxing from and to give to the lower class. We need to be like lowering taxes for the lower class because they spend the most. Lower and middle class spend the most to pay bills. For food, for electricity, for housing. While the, while the upper class and the rich don't spend shit. They buy a yacht. Again, they buy a, buy a yacht or two. That's it. They need to be taxed. Not the people who, like me, who are on welfare and who don't have any money, really. You think it's alright to lower the taxes for the upper class? What are you, stupid? China has over a billion people. They have a large military, larger than us, yet they spend lower than us. A lot lower than us. While America has, has an army, smaller than China, I might add you. And they spend over seven times to eight times as much as China does. Way over that. But why? Cut those taxes, well good. Cut, cut the military spending a lot by half, well great. As for healthcare, I agree with what Canada's doing. Give free healthcare to people, oh sure, the taxes might be raised, but raise the taxes for the upper class and the rich. Not for us lower and middle class people. If you raise the taxes for the rich, but get free health care, it'll be great. Everyone wins. And for the people who are homeless, who have no homes, for the people of the ill pute, take down the elitist game of golf. Miniature golf, I'm fine with. I, I like miniature golf. But golf courses, big, long, freaking acre wide, whole bunch of acre wide long golf courses that are like a town or two long, take those the fuck away. It's an elitist sport. No one plays it except for the rich. And if you're low, low or middle class and you play, get the fuck off there and go play better trick off. It's much funner. What is? I agree with George Carlin when he says, "What the fuck is wrong with these people?" The exact words that George Carlin says, but basically he says that it's crazy to be playing golf. What are these people thinking? A ball about this size getting hit by a metallic curved retarded stick, getting hit, hitting the ball, walking over at it. And hitting it again. Why don't you pick up the fucking ball and f you f you're lucky you found a fucking thing. Go home, put it in your pocket. It it's, a mi it's a mindless, meaningless sport. You barely find any blacks over there. And if you do, they're either, they're either the rare blacks like Tiger Woods and he's not even full black. Or the serving people. That's it. If we take away all the golf, golf courses and build housing on them, we can use that housing for the homeless. Instead of leaving these people on the streets, these people with ill repute on the streets, build, them, build houses on golf courses. Tangible, physical structures, housing, not homes, housing, on golf courses. Let them live there for as much as they can pay. If they could only pay a few hundred a month, fine. But let them live there. Build houses on them. Don't waste them for a fucking game that you don't even need to play. A game that you can easily play on a miniature, on a miniature golf, golf field that's not even really a game. Game, your people still play it. I don't consider golf a game at all. I consider it just a waste of time, boring, and it's a, it's a latest game that no one wants to play except for them. Build housing on golf courses. It'll save money, it'll help, the, it'll build more jobs or building more housing, and it'll take away all the homeless from cities and everything, raising the revenue of the houses, raising the revenue of the houses up, and letting these people live on their own in housing to help them start a new life, to help them out. But now, the rich, the Republicans, want to have those golf courses to play while they're letting the people who are on the street that they walk by every day, they step over, can I have some change, piss off and get a job. But I can't, you follow me, remember? Piss off. If people think it's morally right, so if you think it's morally right to do this, to raise taxes for the people who need money the most, who have no money and spending everything so they can live, you're insane. But I guess I understand the phrase, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, well, then again, that is a model for the Republic of Dana. Ignorance isn't bliss.